Welcome to Like Random One here and welcome back. Today I am very excited. We are getting back into Buddy Daddies. And this will be season one, episode two. I am very excited. I really enjoyed the first one. Um, I did not know the first one was going to be a Christmas special. I feel like I should have waited to check out the series. But, you know, say lovey. So here we are watching the second episode. So sit back, grab a snack, and enjoy the reaction. This is season one, episode two of Buddy Daddies. Gosh, this poor child. Why was she outside? <laughs> That's me in the morning. I'm not ready for Oh, she has to go to the bathroom. Oh my gosh, she go to the bathroom. Does she not know where the bathroom is? Oh no. Oh my gosh, I love that staircase. Oh my gosh, he threw her. Oh. Oh my gosh, he bit off more than he can chew and it's only day two. Oh my gosh, this intro, yes! I love this little techno, oh my gosh, this techno vibe. What is all this going on? I'm excited for these adventures, oh my gosh. This apartment is so colorful and I love it. Wait, they don't live together? I thought these were roommates. Oh, let her help. Why? Oh my gosh, now you're just being a jerk. Let her help. Why are you doing this if you're not even gonna... Oh my gosh, now she's getting a chair. See? You're caught. Is he sleeping in the bathtub? Why? Hey, are we are we not gonna address is there only is this only a one bedroom? Why was he sleeping in the bathtub? And the other guy is like in a bed. And I thought they were roommates. Um Yeah, but you are. It's your Uncle Ray. No, but it's Uncle. Oh, let's play a game. Let's play a game. Oh my gosh, they got Mario Kart. Yes, please. Looks beautiful. Uh, don't eat with your hand. Oh, prayer. Oh. Yeah, teacher. Well, again, okay, don't eat with your hands, especially French toast, but okay. Why does she have to sit at this table and you guys sit over there? <laughs> oh my gosh, and you're eating with your hands? That's where she's getting it from. that guy. Yeah, right. Okay, this so that was the whole thing. That's how kids eat. Oh my gosh. Right, but where is that? Does she not know her address? I'm a singer. Oh my gosh. You have to stay. Someone has to stay. He doesn't want to stay. Oh. She's fine. She just got right back up. Oh. No, no, no. You cannot leave her here unattended, you guys. She's four. Someone had to have stayed with her. Oh 
Wait, are they getting another job? I thought they were gonna go here to get information. Really? You're gonna pick up a job right now. Oh, okay, now he's gonna bring it up. Well, I don't know that a Mafia member would let you know that they have kids. Okay, she got into all kinds of chaos because she's four and you left her home alone. What are you doing? They got ransacked. Where's the kid? Dang, did somebody kidnap her? I like that Rhea is just on it. What are you doing? What happened? You chose poor cover. Oh my gosh, she's a gun! How do you know it's not loaded? Stay? guy looks kind of scary. <laughs> she just burned him unintentionally. She just burned him. What's wrong? Oh, she doesn't even know where her mom is. Hey. This kid. That's kind of what a four-year-old does. There's a lot of energy. Wait, what are you doing? Aww. Are they gonna ignore her? Are you kidding me? Are you gonna get a babysitter? No! Now she's gonna be hyped up on sugar. And you're gonna leave her alone. And she's not gonna be quiet for a while. I'm saying right now she's not gonna be quiet. This is such a bad idea, and you're gonna get in so much trouble for leaving her alone. Dude, you can't do that! Aww. <sighs> Don't tell me you bring her along. Where's the kid, though? Oh my gosh, she's in the car? You brought her, but you left her in the car? Now she's gotta go to the bathroom again. Oh my god. She can't hold it. Oh boy, this is not good. She's gonna walk up to the front door or something. And this is also not good because you're not being attentive. She is gonna lose it. Oh, she's gonna like pee in the cup holder. one guy in there with them. How are these other people so bad at their jobs? Like, this isn't even them being great at their mission. This is just everybody else being really shit at their job. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is so bad. I see. You should have gotten a sitter. You could have just paid for a sitter. Oh no, now he's gotta get her out. Get out of here. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. Get out. No. Oh, right. You put things in already. So just do that. Ooh, a fireworks show. Oh my gosh. Are you really that oblivious? You didn't know anything was going on? Well, come here so he can get you out of here. God, 
gosh, so bad. Oh my gosh, we are all dead. We are all dead right now. Yep. Here we go. Got caught, now we're all gonna... <gasps> Where's the other guy? Oh, he shot him in the wrist. Damn. He was quite the shot. You know, get the big guy. Yeah, there you go. What are you doing? Why didn't you get the big guy? That's what you're here to kill. You. How are you such a bad shot? This is your job. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's got how much training and he's taking out guys left and right. And this dude with the wrist is still shooting. Oh my. And they're not even hitting this guy who's running away from them. Oh my god. How is everybody such a bad shot? Oh boy. Oh, you showed her that you care and she really appreciates that. She doesn't get it. Just, oh my gosh, that was all of the place. Where do I even begin? Um, okay, so I really liked being able to see them back in action. I don't know if I'm saying his name right, but Re, the kind of like emo guy, he is probably my favorite character in like such a weird sense because he is always ready for action. He is always the one who's like, let's do this. Let's get into action. Let's go. And the other dude's like panicking constantly. And they're just two polar opposites being drugged together. Um, I'm a little, little bothered by something though. Like, okay, one, why did you, and I get why he took her into their care because I mean, who else was going to do it? But at the same time, why is like the blonde guy, and I, I'm sorry, I don't know his name, but the blonde guy so against having her all of a sudden when it's like you kind of put your guys' self into this situation. So why are you being so mean to this kid? And why are you like taking this so harshly? Like, just take care of the kid until you can get her to somebody else. Or can they not like call a sitter or something to take care of her while they go do these missions? I mean, that's my thing. I literally thought the first thought that I had when I was like, you guys want to go do this, but you don't want to involve her. Get a sitter. Is it? I don't know that it's that hard. And honestly it's just it's just kind of weird like the blind blonde guy seemed so loving and caring towards this kid in the first episode and then in the second one he's like oh my gosh get the hell out of my life and i'm like oh my gosh like a little more sympathy this poor child doesn't know where she is who her family is she just assumes you're her dad because that's what you told her and we don't even know anything about the mom we just know that she was a mistress of this guy that they killed and so she doesn't know that her dad's really dead. She doesn't know that her mom was, like, that her mom was involved with this guy. I mean, she doesn't need to. She's, like, four. But it's still, there, there's just so much to unravel here. And, um, obviously they don't get rid of the kid because there's, like, several episodes after this. So obviously she doesn't disappear. But I'm curious where we're going to go after this because... What else What else are we going to get into? Are we going to discover more about the mom who might have been a singer? It looks like in, in the title card they showed a woman singing. Maybe that's the mom. But yeah, I'm really intrigued with this series. I really enjoy the action. I love the action scenes. I really like this kid character. She reminds me a lot of Anya, but a little more childish, which makes sense because Anya's like six and this girl's like four. I really enjoyed the humor and I really enjoyed um, getting to see the characters kind of interact. Blonde guy, like I said, is kind of getting on my nerves, but I really like the emo guy. I really like the, the, the Ray guy. I think he's just such a fun character because he is always business, business, business. So I'm really excited to get into the next episode when we do that. But I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you're enjoying these videos. And if you are, be sure to leave a like on the video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for staying awesome. And until next time, guys, bye.